Hello, great to have you with us. Welcome to the distinctive Al Bike Stadium with its tent light structure. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Portugal facing Ghana. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio begins in goal. Rafael Guerrero starts with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Ruben Neves plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And here's the Ghana starting 11. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Well, we know they have good players. In fact, very good players. They've also got a coach that knows how to win football matches and they can challenge anybody. Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. Just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. Ronaldo! What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and the volley is struck so cleanly, which shows just how good his technique is. That's a top-class finish. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Could pull one back here, and he does! He's thrown his team a lifeline. The belief is back. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. A real opening now. Oh, a clinical counter-attack. And so close to a goal. Well, that's exactly what they're looking to do. Force the turnover and then break at pace. So close to a very good goal. One minute. And he takes it away. Ronaldo feeds it. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him.
Well, this is worth seeing again. Just look how Ronaldo goes beyond his man, and Fernandez wasn't going to miss that. He knows exactly where to be in the box when the ball's played in. It's an excellent finish. Leal. On to Bruno Fernandes. Can he put it in? And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. Fernandes has got the right idea with that pass. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Cristiano Ronaldo. Portugal being afforded too much space here. And nobody there to pick him up in the centre. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. But I don't think the keeper should be beaten in his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. And the final whistle here, a real sense of feel-good in the Portuguese camp on the back of this victory, Stuart. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, we're focusing on Cristiano Ronaldo for a reason, Stuart. Fair to say, he's been at his brilliant best. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.